Hi there, my name is Rich Weller. In two minutes, I'm going to show you how to leverage Copilot inside of Microsoft Edge to create a schedule and then drop that into a scheduling tool. The tool of, that I'm going to use, uh, my tool of choice is Microsoft Project for the Web. And, and so now let us, uh, let us, let me share my screen here and we'll get started. All right, so here you can see I'm within Copilot inside of uh, Microsoft Edge here, and uh, the, what we're always looking for is that all-important prompt, right? So here you can see how I've created my prompt. It says you're a PMP certified senior project manager with over 25 years of experience in construction. You're an expert at building and managing schedules. I would like you to create a schedule. Uh, for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom ranch home and put that schedule in a table that includes the columns ID, task name, duration, and predecessor. All right, uh, Copilot, let's see what you can do here. And so as it's building, I'll tell you one of the reasons why I uh, – I prefer to use uh, Copilot as opposed to some of the other um, um, generative AI tools is this statement right here, your personal and company data is protected. I kind of like seeing that. It makes me feel better. Uh, but you can see uh, Copilot is working its magic. It's built a table. It's putting in those tasks, the duration, suggested durations, um, the predecessor, just like we asked it to. You can see this is a pretty high-level schedule for a ranch home. We could have asked it maybe for more details or or the maybe even the number of tasks. Um, but the second thing that I really like about uh, Copilot, it is actually kind of gives you the source from where it's pulling its information from. But now let's back up. We've got our schedule here inside of this table. And notice this link right here. It says Edit in Excel. So if I click on this link, um, it will open this information up within Excel for the web. I'm going to delete this little dash here inside of this. And now I'm going to copy this information here um, as the task name and the duration. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to move over to Project for the Web. If I were to click on New Project and then structure my schedule like this, come here underneath the task name, and I paste in paste in the uh, the name and the duration. So now let's go back and get our uh, depends on our predecessor information. So we'll start from right here. Notice that we're starting on task number two. We'll copy that information, task ID number two, and we move back over to our schedule, task ID number two, and we paste that information in right there. And now you will notice that we have um, the dates are all updated dy dynamically, and we have a nice uh, Gantt chart in the timeline view like this. And so that's 